Hey guys, it's the wrestling god Mike Smith, and you are watching All in Wrestling. Like I said, sorry guys, I didn't do the view last night because I wanted to watch Raw and I wanted to make sure I got everything. So here's what I'm—I'm I'm actually about to do a rant. This is gonna be a rant, but it's also gonna be a review. So first thing I'm going to talk about is the Braun Vince McMahon limousine situation. So, as you all may know, Braun Strowman basically flipped over Mr. McMahon's limousine in a fit of rage because Vince McMahon said, oh, he doesn't get his number one contender spot, yada, yada. So, usual, to get angry, he flipped it over. So, now he's got to pay a hundred, hundred that like a hundred thousand dollar fine. And now he's out of the Royal Rumble as Brock Lesnar's Brock main opponent. But I think he's going to win the Royal Rumble. So he can get that back. He can get the number one contest spot at WrestleMania. Because if Finn Balor beats Brock, he can pretty much, they, everybody can pretty much get a shot at the Universal title. I don't know why. And the thing I didn't like was like, the Vince McMahon segment was cool that he was in denial. He was announcing that, it, like, you know, he wasn't going to be in it because he wasn't. And you know what? I don't hate it, but here's the thing. Like, I feel that everybody is going to try to win the Royal Rumble to get either a SmackDown title shot or a Raw, which is going to help. And I want them to do what they did in 02, where everybody got a title shot. And I get that. They get a title shot. And now... I just don't... I don't see it. Like, I see it, but I don't see it. Like, I see it, but I don't see it. I see it, but I don't see it, though. Because here's the thing. Like, I see Brock, I see Finn getting a universal title and winning it, but not against Brock. Like, we never had that match, and I think we're glad we're going to do it now. But that's the thing I got I'm just a little mad about, because it wasn't like, it wasn't that, like, it was, it was basically you drew, Cena came out. Finn came out, Baron came out, and they all wanted a shot. And I get, like, I get the reasoning. I get the reasoning that I really do. I get it. I understand it. I get the reasoning. (laughs) And I, I get it a hundred and... 10%, 10%, I get it. I really do. I understand it. I get it. I understand it. I do. And don't get me wrong. Like I, Don't get me wrong. Like I, it's not like I don't want to see big dude pass. But I'm a kind of... Uh, not really liking the whole situation. And then, you know, and then the crazy part was, you know, the next thing I'm kind of a little mad about, because I saw the tag match with, like, Ronda and and, 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 and and Sasha, which I liked it, but it was just dry. Then they did a promo, and the thing is, like, she's like, I'm happy I get to face uh, Sasha Banks, which is really respectful, but she got mad because... Freaking, she thought Ronda was going to call her a loser. Like, I got that. And the thing that kind of pissed me off, it wasn't, like, like the dev, I don't know. 
like, and I and I knew this was gonna happen, and I, I know you guys saw it too last night, but I'm a little I'm a little mad about the whole Nikki Cross being on Raw situation because that was the dumbest thing they could ever do. So we got one member of Sanity, who's the female member. It's a five man group, right? So. In order to keep the faction, which is Sanity, to be a tag team staple, they're going to put Nikki Cross on Raw. Like, that's actually going to make a difference. And the thing that kind of pissed me off wasn't even the fact that, like, what what, what, what pissed me off was the thing that Ray Young, Renee Young said. He's like, oh, she can be the twisted sister of Raw. Really? Of Monday Night Raw? No. She's SmackDown. Stay, like... And I, and I, now I get it. Now I get why Lacey Evans was the, the call up, because the thing is they couldn't figure out what to do with Lars Sullivan because he walked out. And the joke is now, like it said yesterday. Like what is going on, man? Like then you take you, you got you got Nikki Cross, you got EC3. So pretty much EC3 basically said, "Oh, I'm gonna be on Raw." Because of Mr. McMahon. But. There's a problem. The dude didn't make his debut. I saw him. In the background. I was knocking on the door. And then. Uh, I, I don't, Otis Dozovic. Which. Really? You're going to put heavy machinery on Raw as well? What? Are, are you kidding me? Oh, you know what? And this is why. I. I'm going to sit here and think about this for a minute, and I'm pretty much going to say it. We're going to have a room in here. Like I said, I'm pretty much going to say this, but Otto Dozovic, the dude, the guy, the man, like, here's the thing that really pisses me off, like, now, I don't know if Heavy Machinery is on Raw because Auto Dose, but I didn't see the other dude, so I'm pretty sure they're going to SmackDown. That was just just, just to smite. That's just to make people think he was going to Raw. But like I said, I see it, but I just I don't know. Like I'm a little happy about the moment of Bliss segment thing with Bob here. I'm happy about that to a certain degree, but here's the thing: I'm a little mad about. Here's the thing I'm mad about, right? Here's the thing. They want so many people. And that's what I was saying last night. That they have so many guys to give talent to on that fucking roster. And they have systematically, systematically have just ignored, 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 ignored. And ignored, like, and ignored... Like the people, and this is what I'm talking about. The universe doesn't even play a factor in it because the joke is so, like, and this is what I, I hate. So, you're gonna have one, two, you're gonna have maybe 20, 30 people that are main event guys that are players in the game. You're gonna have 15, maybe 16 people as the tag team division, one per two people as the women's division, and they even can build it up as much as they can because Raw's got so many talent. But here's the joke. So the people that like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'm gonna hit you guys with something, right? Remember when like Raw was barely even trying to scrape the the women's division, when it wasn't even trying to build it, and this was like mid. Remember like when Eric Bischoff didn't even care about the women's division, like he just kind of just made the main event talent. He he worked on the girls, but they were more concerned about Playboy and being on magazines and being eye candy, which. To a point, and I and I kind of hated that era, but now, like, what? Like, this is the point I don't understand. So, if Lacey Evans goes to Raw, they're just getting rid of them to put more talent in NXT, which I get. But, I want people to be on main roster, but people that deserve to be on Raw are either SmackDown. But Raw seems like they're just dragging everybody in. Because pretty much Undisputed... If Undisputed Era goes to freaking SmackDown, they're going to run that place. They're going to run it. 
they're going to recruit the Usos. They're going to recruit them somehow. They're all going to be dominant. It's going to be a dominant faction. They're going to they're going to recruit them. They're going to because somehow like I said like I've said this multiple times. And I don't hate Raw and I don't hate the WWE. It's the, it's it's the it's the mindset and it's the brainchild and it's the creative team that are not bringing them up. It's because people who deserve a push don't get it. Because they finally, after one, two, three, four, he came. When did Finn Balor come to NXT? He came. Wasn't it 14? It was tw- 2015 he came. Was in NXT. Was the champion. Then he came. Finn, I think it's Finn, Finn and Joe were there 2015. Shinsuke was there 2015 as well. So right around the time, like right after the Authority era, going into the new era. So that was it. And then they came. That was when that was actually at the same time or before Shane came back. That was in 2016 he came back. So four years for Finn. Four years for Finn. And this is the thing I'm talking about. They don't even try to have anything. And because he is a good guy, they're going to use him. And the joke is now, because now that he gets the universal title push, everybody else is going to try to get a push. Meaning... The guys who are mid-carters are going to be top guys. The guys who are top guys are going to be mid-carters. See, and here's the thing I'm, like, I'm kind of sad about. Like, the whole, the revival against Lucha House Party was dumb because the thing was, that was just a pit, that was pretty much a pity match because the Undisputed Era are going through the conspiracy with the freaking, um, with Chad, um, Gable, uh, Road Gable. That's my point. I don't feel anything towards them. I don't hate them. I really, really don't hate them. I don't hate their ideas. I don't hate their mindset. But it was a pity thing. 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 And I'm and like, and like I said, guys, this is what I'm talking about. They are really just trying to do what they need to do. I said, I, I, I get the idea with Otto Dozovic. I mean, Otis Dozovic. Why do I keep saying Otto? Otis Dozovic. Like, I get it to a fault. And it's not like I don't understand. But I get it, though. Like, like Otis Dozovic is not the bad guy in the world.
But I just can't, I just can't see NXT. And I just can't see them being on Raw is going to change it because Heavy Machinery are not a bad team. Because they're not. It's just like, see, Trevor Lee is actually coming to the WWE because he signed I announced when he actually signed a contract with that. That means he's coming. That means he's coming. That means Sammy Callahan could come, which are the Scrat and Sons. They're, they're going to show up somehow. Somewhere in the mix, they're going to show up. And this is what I mean. See, you got this big... You got this big, you have this big, this big company, which is WWE, this big wrestling company, and and this is the thing I don't understand, bro. This is what I don't understand. See, Like, this is what I see. I don't know if it's like heavy machinery. One, like, heavy machinery, them being on Raw doesn't make any sense. They don't. Them being on Raw has no idea. None. Like, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not angry with them. I don't believe it. But them, they, like I said, I just, like, I'm, there's so many things that Raw is doing wrong, and they're just putting this box of crap and turning it into gold and thinking it's actually going to work, but it's still the same. It's like, see, Otto, Otto, Otto Dozovic, right? Otto Dozovic, NXT, you know, Heavy Machinery, them, those guys. Like, I had a dream. I already knew they were going to come up sooner or later because they are a dominating tag team, just like Angelo Dawkins, just like the Street Pro- Profits, everybody. And this is where I kind of feel like they just said fuck it and they kind of just threw it in there. Because the joke is, they could have brought them, but it's like they won't bring the Street Profits, but they'll bring Heavy Machinery, Undisputed Era, TM61. Like, this is the thing I'm talking about. War Raiders will come. They'll, they'll, they'll take on the Office of Pain. They'll do it. Because the thing is, they need, they need, they need the challenge. They need it. And like I said, guys, this is what I mean. Like, this is what the, the future, this is what the future is going to hold for the WWE. That everybody's just going for one bag. Everybody's going for one bag of crap and everybody's just throwing the other one away.
like I said, this is why, like, and this is what I think. And right now, Raw is doing it wrong. Like I said, Raw was Raw was amazing, but the call-ups were just a waste. And like I said, guys, that's all I had for today. But I am going to do a SmackDown review tonight. After I'm done with SmackDown, I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, like I said, guys, keep viewing the videos. Thank you. We are at we are at 19 views. Thank you. Like I said, if you guys like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and later, peace.